friends now i'm going to discuss about lateral sinus thrombophlebitis it is the inflammation of the inner wall of the lateral venous sinus it is also called as sigmoid sinus thrombosis or otitis venous infection it is a complication of csom cholesteatoma and mastoiditis pathology abscess form at the sinus outer dural wall or local venous thrombophlebitis from here the inflammation spreads into the inner wall and deposition of the fibrin platelets and blood cells in the inflammation from here the thrombus is formed and it may spread into the mastoid emissary vein or superior sagittal sinus organisms invade the thrombus and intracellular abscess is formed from here emboli are formed coming to the clinical features papilla edema due to the increased intracranial pressure crowback test or lily crow sign it is on compression of on compressing the jugular vein on healthy side retinal veins engorgement occur and it subsides on releasing the pressure grisinger sign posterior mastoid edema it is due to the mastoid emissary vein thrombosis tenderness along the jugular vein and the fever it is hectic picket fence type of fever temperature raises more than 40 degree centigrade suddenly and decreases with profuse sweating one or more peaks per day due to the septic emboli release with chills and rigor headache in early stage it is mild due to abscess and late it is severe due to increased intracranial pressure thank you